All right, guys, how's it going? Moto Dragon here again. This is what we're test riding today the 2020 Zero SFR. Uh, like always, specs are up on the screen. It's clearly an electric bike. Um, I don't know any of its specs, I can never remember. I would not make a good motorcycle journalist, but this thing is fucking beautiful. Um, big thanks to Franklin Motorcycles for letting me test drive it. These are the, the dealers in Ireland. Look at this dash. I don't like the bubbles. Bubbles. Probably shouldn't have done that. But the dash is beautiful. Or 99%. But as you can see, this is belt driven. It's actually fucking gorgeous. I love this colour as well. It's beautiful. There's a little charge port in here. You have your little trunk in there. It's, it's gorgeous. I love it. It looks, and with the colour, it looks exactly like the others, oh, Grant. <laughs> it looks exactly like the Hondas, the new Hondas. Uh, but let's take this thing out as Grant comes. Okay, being dramatic. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the f So as I said, this is the Zero S or F. Oh my god, this is the first time I've ever been on an electric bike. Oh. Oh, I don't like the front. Oh no, that falls. It doesn't turn. How the f does he look at the size of this guy? He's five, six, seven. And look how small he makes that bike. Oh, that's weird. This is fucking weird. Why? <laughs> <Here, here's up. laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so weird. <laughs> what does the exhaust sound like? Oh my God, this is fucking weird. Oh, but I like it. Oh my God. This is my first time on an autom like an automatic style bike. So this is just weird. The front end feels so weird. But look guys, this is a Zero SRF. This is a 2020. Look how beautiful that uh, dash is. You have everything you need on it. Your range, your battery life, your speed. Uh, different modes. At the moment I'm in Eco. They just put in Eco for the first time. Whoa, full throttle. That is amazing. That's beautiful. The brakes are actually gorgeous. It's tiny though, I'm not gonna lie. So to change the mode, you click her in. Oh yes, street mode. It's a little better. I'll keep that. Oh, it's just weird not having a clutch and downshifting. It's kind of cool just being able to, and go. Okay, that's just the first fill up. I think this is a diesel, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. I got a warning. I got my first warning. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. On the plus side, suspension's quite nice. Whoa! That slipped, okay. That is actually really nice power. The only thing I do don't like about the dash is obviously I can only assume it's in kilometers, but it doesn't say. Oh yeah, street mode just has <laughs> already has so much power i think you can feel the regenerative braking is quite nice so apparently in sport mode there's no regenerative braking and it's almost like a three wheeling back brake is good 
it's actually so weird having no sound and especially coming off the mt10 with uh with no or <laughs> with the decat it's oh that's nice okay i want to quickly stick it into uh sport just to see what the acceleration's like can i click thank you oh close throttle okay oh yeah oh wow that's nice that is so strange it's so fucking weird because you're used to you know any other normal bike say the inline four the cross plane like mine you're in you're used to it um kind of building 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 but this is just really really instant uh, but it's really controllable it's really nice i'm going to keep it in sport because i know most people who are going to buy this will probably keep it in sport the mirrors are really big i kind of like how little there is going on here riding position is very very comfortable uh, so this is a standard one as, as i sh you've seen in the cinematics it has the big boot it has two usb ports which i only found out which is fucking amazing it means you can 6a your gopro charger your phone plug it in and away you go it's you know let it charge away which is amazing uh, this does have traction control abs i'm not too sure if it has the cornering abs this has a show out rear shock I don't know what front shocks it has. S? Oh, it's Showa. Showa front and rear suspension, which is very nice. Uh, it's a little stiff, but I think it kind of has to be with the weight. And it, it's not that heavy. It's about the same weight as the MT-10. But because of where the batteries are, it's so low. Uh, it's really nice. Center of gravity is gorgeous. It's... it's oh, yeah. It feels like a, a planted bike. It's just weird not having any sound. Jesus Christ, that is so nice. Brake levers as well. I couldn't say clutch because there is no clutch. It's beautiful. It's like a matte black. It, all, it literally looks like a Brembo. Um, there's some weird brand I've never heard of. I think they're like an American Chinese brand. So you know it's good. That, it's quality. I'm pretty much used to it. Like it, very fast. I got used to it. <laughs> Woo! You sexy beast, you! <laughs> really control like look we're going around it's like a normal bike going around the corner and then just give it some beans and holy shit like fucking hell whoa <laughs> oh my god this is just mental i think it's like uh, equivalent to like 110 brake but i think it's around the 140 mark for uh torque just the mini flick the throttle Oh, that's so nice. I can see why people are buying these. Copyright! Copyright! <laughs> Girls in the car were loving it. <laughs> they were recording us. The dog bark with a squeaky toy, that was so cute. Is that a set? Oh yeah, that's nice. 82 kilometers. Cruise control! And then just knock it off. Or how'd you knock it off? Oh yeah, same as mine. Okay, I'm gonna knock that off. Ah, oh, this is nice. I wanted to share my opinion on, on electric bikes. It, it, so far, it's somewhat changing. Those brakes are very good. But yeah, it's not as scary as I thought it was gonna be. god i think as a country mainly ireland we're not quite ready for electric bikes there's not a lot of charging stations the, the whole idea of waiting for the charge is a bit annoying because you know you're so quick filling up a petrol uh, but i have to say this is so nice really and truly is beautiful uh, it's so smooth and you can see where they've put the money in it <laughs> you can see you, you can see uh why kind of why they're so expensive i think they start at about 17 grand and i think they go up to about 20 odd yeah power and those brakes are beautiful those brakes are so nice i had to just give them a nice tug there and really nice no drama there and that was pretty heavy braking let's do finger braking but no drama at all. I still wouldn't buy one, but I appreciate them more. And it's mainly the price. Like 17 grand is a lot of money, it really is. 
I, I'd be more inclined to wait until the battery tech has changed, but if so, if one of you, if someone's watching this and you're kind of like, I don't know if I want one or not, just fucking go for it. It's it's so nice. Like where I live, it's a bit awkward for me. I'm a bit far of a commute. Um, I can't park it safely. I can't charge it at work. If you're lucky enough to have a place to park and charge it at work, I don't see why not. Uh, I'd get one. Jimmy! Jimmy! It, it's quality. That's what I'm trying to say. It is real quality and I can assume the motors and the batteries are very very high quality power is instant but it's it, the way it delivers it's just so smooth and nice it's and I've already gotten used to not having a clutch not changing gears um, I've kind of gotten used to how it feels under deacceleration under braking it really is such a nice bike uh, like those bumps there are fine beautiful I'm really, really impressed with this bike. Again, I want to thank Franklin's for letting me actually have a go with this because I've never ridden an electric vehicle. I think on this he said you'd get about 250 kilometers maybe out of a full charge. Uh, and obviously if you go on the motorway, it's going to drop. But if you're commuting in the city, it's perfect. I wouldn't have it in sport mode. I'd definitely have it in rain or eco mode when you're in town. Maybe eco because it'll probably regen a lot nicer. The seat feels nice but also feels quite sporty. My bum's getting a little sore. I got a delicate booty. <laughs> this is actually a good test. Thank you sun. The sun is shining right on it and I can read everything perfect. It's a really nice dash. What you can do with it is you hook it up to your phone and if you look at the there's a, a, a mode called custom uh, you can set the whatever you want max speed torque engine braking you can set everything traction control stuff like that oh i went for the clutch there that was weird u-turn oh that's a good turn and circle keep looking down at the the range and all and it's like oh i don't know that just scares me just that like i know i just can't fill up and be done i'll have to find a place to charge out here there's nowhere to fucking charge <laughs> and like i see my my thing with this is a little personal because ireland we're not really set up for electric bikes or electric vehicles at all there's not many petrol stations that have electric chargers now there are a few but they're all on big motorways and most of the time when I'm going home on the bike I actually completely avoid the motorway I don't go near the motorway I go on all on back roads I'd, I'd be a little worried now in saying that if I'm only doing 80 kilometers say a day and that's gonna be a mix of faster roads and town I, that's why I'd love to use it and see what it's like how fast will the battery go down because my thing with it is obviously it's gonna be like your phone charger the more you or like your phone the more you charge it the you know the less your batteries are gonna go that's just a normal thing with batteries so for me I'd probably have to charge it nearly every day just to be safe you know uh, so that's why I would love to use it for a week and just see what it's like to live with like I'm still on 76 percent i think it was on 91 when i started so it's not too bad 135 kilometers still better than the mt10 mt10 is very bad for juice hey! oh nice and i'm caught up yeah those brakes are really good abs didn't even kick in that's how good those brakes are oh we're back where we start <laughs> duckies Oh, duckies! Rim! Rim! <laughs> I can't do it! <laughs> oh, God. You do miss the sound. You really do miss the sound. I still have 130 kilometers. That's actually loads. I, I am actually quite surprised. Uh, I would like to go on the motorway and just see how fast it dropped. The seat is shit. I'm not gonna lie. At the at the start, I thought it was quite comfy, but it's not good. It's really not. It's nice, just just chilling. No sound. Everyone's looking as well. They're all like, "What the? F why does that bike have no sound?"
So yeah, what do I think of this bike? It's fucking amazing. It's really, really nice. Definitely changed my opinion on them. Let's get off and have a look. It's a little dirty. Yes. Yes. Uh, so look, we're out of beautiful hope. That's a video, guys. Thanks for joining me on this review. What a bike. What a machine. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, but look, guys, a video. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you guys would like me to test ride next. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you on the next video.